Schwerpunkt Physik is uh, one of the first uh, research centers which have been uh, founded in Innsbruck. Actually, it started back in 2009, so we are celebrated our six years of life and is a very important instrument for us. Is, um, is now uh, composed of uh, about 23 different uh, research groups, independent research groups, and these 23 research groups are organized in uh, three different uh, Forschungszentren. These Forschungszentren are really the pillar of the Schwerpunkt Physik. And um, the reason why it is so important for us, this instrument, is that, of course, uh, physics uh, is... Um, in Innsbruck, um, very uh, well developed. We have very motivated kind of worker and colleagues and group. We do top science. We are known at the international level. But then we really needed a structure, kind of a logistical structure that could coordinate joint action. And so this is what the Schwerpunkt Physik is doing today. So we have uh, then two missions. So one mission is uh, more about uh, um, internal action. So how do we coordinate better within us? How do we uh, prepare ourselves for a joint proposal or joint infrastructure? And how do we train at the best level ever uh, our student? The second mission is more an external mission. So we are physicists, and uh, the word physics uh, many times uh, uh, create on the other a little bit uh, a feeling of fearing, you know, what is, is very mysterious, but also it looks like to be very difficult. So our second mission is to bring physics or the concept of physics in the house of the people. And, uh, and this, we do this with public outreach, uh, event, many different events. I mean, of course, uh, we all use physics uh, every single day, in every hour of our life, we do something which is related to physics, but everybody fears physics. And so we are now trying to go uh, beyond this fearing, and, uh, and we found uh, some instruments which are very useful and very effective. One instrument is the Tag der Physik, that we organize every year in February, and there we invite pupils from the school, so students which are in between 14 to 18 years old, to come to visit us. We prepare experiment for us. We prepare in such a way that it gets intriguing, but also funny. It's a, a mixture in having a science and playing with science, and, and this is a very well accepted. So every year we have about 400 student visiting us. Then there is a large extended version of the Tag der Physik, there is the Woche der Physik, and this we organize every four years because it's a, such a big event that really requires a lot of work. Last year, so actually this year, 2015, is a very special year for physicists because it's the year of light. And so the UNESCO have announced 2005 like the International Years of Light. And so we thought that's really an opportunity now to explain to people what the impact of light in our day. And this is also connected with the last, uh, uh, the last year Nobel Prize in Physics that have been done for the uh, establishment of the blue light, which then had a lot of impact in our day life because it, and also in terms of economy and um, let's say, resources uh, was extremely important, the achievement of blue light. And, uh, and then for this, we organize a special event, I mean, really with the focus of light. And one of these was uh, uh, the, um, uh, a laser show. So we invited a professor in Kaiserslautern, a physics professor, he has an hobby. So he's not only a fantastic scientist, but he's also a magician. So he, he kind of unified uh, physics with magic to create this show. And this was really fun. And we had uh, uh, really more than 600 people visiting us at the CCB, and uh, both very young, very children, and Nobel Prize. We had two different Nobel Prize visiting us and being in the audience. So it was very nice. All this is kind of to explain um, 
how do we work with physics, how do we see physics, and also to try to get uh, I mean, uh, young people interested in our field and then uh, maybe to become future physics students.